Imagine a train conductor running three different trains and trying to bring everyone home safely and on time. Now, picture an orchestra conductor in charge of three orchestras, bringing in audiences and delivering the music on time and under budget. Almost unheard of a few years ago, Kirk Muspratt is a symphony conductor who's emerged to share his musical feats from Indiana to the western suburbs. On the art beat, here's a look at a magical maestro. He would light his hair on fire if, it, if, if the people would come to a concert to see it. Um, because he knows that once they hear the orchestra, they'll be there to stay. In a rehearsal room at the Mackinich Arts Center in Glen Ellen, there is calm before the storm. I'm the music director of the Northwest Indiana Symphony. I'm also the artistic director and conductor of the DuPage Opera Theater, and I'm the music director of the New Philharmonic. It's a very interesting assignment, those three jobs, because one minute I'll be studying La Boheme. Last week we had a Beatles concert. Uh, tonight I'm doing Petrushka. Tonight we're working with dancers from Yellow Submarine to Stravinsky is an enormous variation of music, of thinking about the audience, what the orchestra needs, trying to stay on a budget, trying to think of my patrons, serving the audience, being a good educator, all of those things. It's, uh, it takes a lot of imagination and some long nights. Whether Muspratt is working with dancers from the Joffrey or giving opportunities to local school children, he always tries to be as engaging as he is energetic. He engages the audience, um, and not just through the music. He really talks to them. Um, he asks them questions during concert. He shares secrets with them. He uh, will share an amusing anecdote. He'll talk about the musicians. He sends the musicians out to talk to the audience at intermission. So he really is unique uh, in, in, as a conductor. He's, he's breaking down that uh, stereotype that classical music has to be stuffy. In terms of an overall plan, I would say for me it is making music accessible, inviting people into the process, having a feeling that a vi the violist is playing the music, you as a patron are very, very important. Uh, we're all in the same room. We're all experiencing something very beautiful. We're experiencing something very human. If I can make the people who are coming to listen to the music feel very, very welcome, um, happy, and important, I think it'll be even more vivid. Muspratt uses a variety of tactics, including Kirk's classical boot camp, a way of letting his audience know the story behind the music. And Just Ask Kirk, an ongoing question and answer session with orchestra fans. He sees it as the evolution of a 21st century music conductor. We're living in 2007, and the world is changing, and obviously, very quickly and enormously. So I'm trying to just be that evolutionary creature, that mammal, that's going to make sure that we exist X number of years from now and I'm trying to be very responsive to the community. His journey to the Chicago area started in a little town in western Canada called Crow's Nest Pass. I grew up in the Crow's Nest Pass, a small pass in the Rocky Mountains in western Canada, and I was very lucky that I got set down there on earth because everybody that I grew up with had parents and grandparents from the old country. When I went to my friend's house, their parents were speaking Polish or Czech or Italian or French or Russian. And every kid in this little village that was in the middle of nowhere studied music. Every kid. We were lucky enough to find Kirk. Um, he's a wild, crazy Canadian. You'll see him when you see this mass of blonde hair. Uh, but what we really found out was that uh, Kirk is a consummate musician. He is a dynamic conductor. Um, 
and really uh, a crazy personality and the audience is really connected with them. It comes down to communicating, uh, having personal one-on-one -on -one contact with people and letting them know again that they are very essential to what we do. We make music for them. Kirk Muspratt and the New Philharmonic Orchestra conclude their season with a performance called Revolutionary Russians. It's this weekend at the Mackinac Arts Center in Glen Ellen. He's also making plans for a summer concert series with the Northwest Indiana Symphony that he's calling the South Shore Music Festival. We have more details on our website.